Hey you guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I make ready to ship wigs for my business. If you're interested, stay tuned. For those of you who do not know, ready to ship wigs are basically wigs that are ready to be shipped to the customer. So it's pretty much a self-explanatory term. When it comes to creating ready to ship wigs for your company, how you go about doing them is going to be up to you, the business owner. I know a lot of people get caught up over how they want to do their ready to ship wigs. But the beauty of being a wig maker is that wig is an art. And when it comes to art, there are no rules. You are able to create your own rules. For my ready to ship wigs, I like to use wigs that have already been created from my vendor. What I love about my vendor is that they're able to make the wigs to my liking. I can tell them what type of cap to make the wig on to include an elastic band or wig combs. And I can also tell them how many bundles go into each wig. So I really enjoy that I have that option working with my vendors. Basically, I order a lot of wigs from my vendor and basically now that I have the wigs, I am taking them out of their packages and I am going to start customizing them to my likings. The first step that I take to customizing my ready to ship wigs is bleaching the knots. I really want the lace to have a realistic look and bleaching the knots is the first step to having a realistic scalp look. And again, just to point this out another time, how you create your ready to ship wigs is completely up to you. If you want your ready to ship wigs to be completely uncustomized, meaning you just want to sell them the same way the vendor sends them, that is 100% okay. You are the business owner, so you are able to make the rules for your ready to ship wigs. Also, if you wanted your ready to ship wigs to be completely custom by you, meaning you take the bundles and you take the closures or frontals and you, you know, custom make that wig by size and you do everything else you want to do to it, that is completely up to you. There are no rules for how to create your ready to ship wigs. Do whatever it is that you feel the most comfortable with. Now, of course, once the knots are done bleaching, I am going to rinse them out. I may possibly tone the knots if I feel like it is necessary. But once I am done with bleaching the knots, I am going to go ahead and proceed with plucking and styling my units. So of course, I want it to be as realistic as possible. So I am going to pluck, pluck, pluck and make it the way that I want it to be.
and of course once i'm done with one unit i'm gonna go ahead and start working on the second unit now when it comes to my ready to ship wigs i really take my time well honestly when it comes to any wigs that i create i take my time with styling them so i actually started working on the next ready to ship wig the following day so basically that is just what you're going to see me do you're going to continue to see me working on the wigs When it comes to launching your ready to ship wigs, that is going to be completely up to you. At around around this time, I would say that I launch my ready to ship wigs every two weeks. Some wig makers like to launch them once a month and some wig makers like to launch their ready to ship wigs every week. So it's completely up to you when you launch. Whatever launch date you set for yourself, you need to give yourself all of that time between when you get the wigs all the way up until your launch date that is the amount of time you have available to actually work on and customize your wigs so that will pretty much let you know if you need to work on them quickly or if you need to work on a certain amount each day or you know if you can really take your time so all of that is dependent on whatever plan you have for yourself and whenever you plan on launching your actual units Once I have prepared my ready to ship units, the next morning I like to go ahead and start taking pictures of them and recording videos so that I'm able to promote my ready to ship wigs on social media. I like to set up my little background. I don't know. I'm very particular how I like to take the pictures. I always got to have something in the background with the wigs by Ebony logo. Um, I love to have the greenery in the background as well. So I like to play around with my background. Um, but I definitely, definitely, definitely take a lot of photos and videos. That way I'm able to promote the ready to ship wigs. So this is how I do my ready to ship wigs. This is my process. If you have a different or similar process, please comment below and let me know what you do down in the comment section. I would love to read up on it and see how you guys like to prepare your ready to ship wigs. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give your girls a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the like button. And as a matter of fact, if you watched it this far, you might as well go ahead and come join the Everything Fam. So click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.